Rocco is, uh, I think, the definition of a miracle. A lot of joy. He is a special kid. What do you remember about when you first learned of Rocco's diagnosis? The doctor, she said, Mrs. Pissarro, I'm so sorry, I believe he has cancer. I mean, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. I'm holding him, breaking down, and Rocco reaches up and touches my face and goes, Dad, don't cry for me. I'm gonna be okay. To help me to get my leukemia away. What are some of the creative ways you guys have found to speak to him about different elements of his cancer treatment? We talk to Rocco like he's a superhero. We would tell him he was getting Hulk blood to make him stronger. There was a period where he had to get chemo every single day. Five, six. Ultimately, bone marrow transplant was Rocco's only shot of long-term survival. That's where we started Rocco's bucket list. We had Rocco come up with a couple things like, what do you want to do before transplant? One of them was to go to a Dolphins game. Rocco's the huge Dolphins fan. I remember putting it out on Facebook. Does anyone have any connections with the Dolphins? And one of my great friends, she sent me a text and she's like, Ida, I got you. We met a bunch of the girls from the Dolphins Challenge Cancer Organization and we shared our story. And how meaningful being there and connecting with the Dolphins was to our family. His favorite player is Jalen Waddell. Looking deep, he's got a man! Touchdown! Number two for Waddell! And a week later, I got a text that was like, Jalen wants to talk to Rocco. And I was like, what? Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it. Rocco is my guy. He's he a cool kid, man. He's a cool kid. His family talked about how much interacting with you, interacting with the team, has helped him go through his chemotherapy. He's only six years old and, and probably been through more than what most of us go through in our whole lifespan. And it's moments like that that can really change a kid's life. Are you ready? Look, look. What do you think the biggest thing Rocco is teaching you guys? To keep fighting, keep moving forward, to keep pushing. It's an inspiration, not just for me, but for the team. Recently, you guys got some good news. I don't have any more cancer. Rocco does not need a bone marrow transplant. He was like, guys, I beat cancer, so now you've got to make it to the Super Bowl. <laughs> and Jalen was like, no pressure, Rocco, no pressure. Dolphins three. One, two, three. Dolphins!